Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This time I'm going to show you the locations of all four bottles. The first bottle we're going to get is in Kakariko Village, right here on the map where Link has his blinking face, and it is in the back secret entrance to the really long house just underneath the house with the sick kid who gives you the bug catching net. In this back entrance you can lift up this pot and open this chest for the first bottle. The second bottle is also located in Kakariko Village, right here on the map. There is a gentleman sitting on a rug next to some pots, and he will sell you a bottle for 100 rupees. Getting 100 rupees is possible from within Kakariko Village. There's a house just northeast of the gentleman selling the bottle uh, with a green roof, and downstairs are a few chests that you can open that contain 20 rupees each, and then some additional blue rupees behind a bombable wall. The third bottle is located underneath the bridge near Link's house, so we'll use Link's house as a starting point. You will need the flippers to get this bottle, uh, but you can get the flippers from within the light world, so that essentially means that you can get three of the four available bottles before you ever enter the dark world. There is another alternate path uh, to this area, but this is probably the most direct way or kind of the easiest one to uh, understand using landmarks. Uh, the other way to do it is from the Eastern Palace kind of canyon area. You want to just head south to that ladder going to the water that you just saw there that I passed. Uh, but you want to head around this area and then to the west one screen, and then you'll be underneath the bridge. So just swim under it, and then there will be a gentleman sleeping under here, camping out, he may be homeless, I'm not sure, uh, but just talk to him, he will wake up, and he will give you the third bottle for free. The fourth and final bottle is located in the dark world, but you actually get it in the light world. First, we have to go to Thieves Town, to the dark world version of the blacksmithing house, and once you have the Titan's Mitt from uh, Thieves Town Dungeon, which is the fourth dungeon, you can lift up these black rocks and then walk into this bombed out house and just walk up to this purple chest and you will sort of get a prompt to move it and then you can just have it follow you. You cannot run with this chest in tow, otherwise it will just sit there. That said though, you can use the flute to warp while you have the chest. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the flute to warp to point number four, which is Link's house. Alternatively, you can also warp to point seven. Um, they both take about the same amount of time because you're forced to walk, you can't run. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to head to the desert uh, near the area that we started uh, encroaching upon the desert palace. Uh, if you spoke to the gentleman who was sitting there, he may have told you nothing because he won't actually speak to you unless you bring him this chest. I think if you try to talk to him, it just says like dot, 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 dot. It's been a long time since I tried talking to him without the chest. But if you talk to him with the chest in tow, he will open it because he is apparently a master thief that has just been hiding out in the desert. Uh, so if you keep his secret and you promise not to tell anybody, he will unlock the chest for you and give you the fourth bottle. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. You can also join my community Discord server. The link for that is in the video description below. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.